Hey everyone, this is Lansar for Tech Boys, and today I'm gonna have a tutorial on how you can install a Mac OS X No Leopard theme for Windows 7. It is just awesome. Uh, believe me, it it just worth trying. Now, uh, there are two to three things I'm gonna mention here. The first thing is that make sure your uh, computer has enough hardware capability to run Windows Aero theme. Uh, you can run the Windows Aero theme by just right clicking on desktop and clicking on personalize. Then you can see a screen up here. And you can see it's just Aero themes, Windows 7. I'm just gonna click. And yeah, that there you have it. I'm gonna change the desktop background to black so it's quite visible. Yeah. Now I'm um, recording the screen at the same time I'm um, running the air theme so this might get the hardware a little slow but that doesn't matter. Now the second thing is that make sure you're doing it at your own risk. Please don't uh, blame me for any harm it causes to your computer. Uh, it didn't harm mine but I don't totally guarantee it. So, now the third step I want to say is, let's get started. <laughs> now, please open your web browser, uh, whichever. You know, there you see it. I'm just going to just go to the website, techboys.co.nr, and you can see the link below. Okay, there you have it. Now, just click on the downloads tab here. and there you see the downloads section uh, just you can see here snow transformation pack windows 7 just click on this and you will be direct redirected to a mediafire hosted web page and there you see http 15.zip it says zip file you gotta extract it later on so you can just download the file by clicking here and just save it any way you want I have done it on the desktop now here's the archive. archive. I'm just gonna right click this and extract the contents. Okay now here I have the two things. Uh, the, the one I'm gonna use is the Snow Transformation Pack 1.5.exe I'm just gonna hit enter to open this file. Look okay, now the screen went white and there we have it. Windows X Live uh, Snow Transformation Pack. I uh, downloaded that from windowsxlive.net. Now I'm gonna start, uh, I'm just gonna uncheck this box because I don't want to set the Windows X Live as default home page. I'm gonna click on next. I will select I accept the license agreement next and uh, you might want to read this but I'm not going to read this now I'm going to click next again configuration performance completed customize now performance uh, configuration will modify system files and install components without running third party application to affect systems performance now the complete uh, configuration will install everything along with the third party applications uh, but you make need to make sure that you have enough hardware capability and if you, if you want you can just customize it I'm selecting complete I'm going to click on next and finally click on transform now I'm just going to install this okay the first thing it does is copying resource hacker because resource hacker will eventually uh, do every changes Okay, now it, it is installing the themes and along with that it's installing wallpapers and rocket dock all that stuff uh, it's gonna eventually bring our snow leopard theme there are certain virtual and things why shadow yeah why shadow I've tried that 
Okay, now at this time, while it's deploying system resources, it's gonna close the explorer.exe file and it's gonna try to just it's gonna just edit that and then put it back again. Okay, now I've just in finished installing uh, the storage transformation pack, and as soon as I click finish, uh, this is going to restart the system. So I would be able to record the restart restart process. So I'm gonna pause this video now. Okay, now I restarted the system, and the first screen that looks is something like this, except the logon screen only. Now you can see the icons are changed and uh, for example some things um, haven't changed quite a bit. Now this toast where we're going to change first of all, first of all let's close this thing and I'm going to just go to the task bar, right click and click in properties. I uh, will reduce the size of the task bar. I'm going to use use small icons. I'm going to just click on OK and yeah that's we've got it perfectly fine now uh, there might be some icons that haven't changed as you wanted to so I'm gonna just, just you can do two steps to change that just right click the folder and go to properties uh, or you can just restore it a couple of times and that should do I'm just gonna go to customize tab and I'm gonna just click on OK this should just put it back to the OS X theme yeah yep it did or you can just go to the shortcut icon you can have on or you can just click on the start button and go to all programs go below uh, to yeah snow transformation pack welcome center you can go there and uh, wait for a while to for it to appear Okay, and you can just go to repair system files and that that should do. Then uh, there are some things I want to show you. The icon effect and the dot below is just beautiful. You can see the cursor changed and the uh, type of explorer also changed with icons here changing the status to, uh, storage status has changed. You can just see the icons change. Uh, now, what we're gonna fix now is these three caption buttons. I'm gonna put these to the left as they are in Mac. Uh, I didn't tell you how to do that. Uh, there, you have to go to the website once again and download a utility called WebSider. I'm gonna just go to the website and yeah, to the download section right away. Okay, now in the download section, you can see now I put on the left side of Windows 7 caption button 32 bit and 64 bit. You can just uh, choose your architecture and uh, download the one that suits you. Now, after you download that, you're going to need to extract this. So I'm going to extract the one for 32 bit. Okay, now here I have this. I downloaded this from uh, askvg.com, which I'll link up to this portal. So here it is. Just open this file. And then it should start doing its work, I guess. Because the left side of the DLL is already on. That's quite funny that uh, I didn't even know about. And these two buttons are on the left. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> awesome work, Michelle. Uh, okay now you can see the dock here uh, almost everything's fixed now so I'm gonna just you can see the dock, dock here uh, one thing uh, in the dock I want to show you is as soon as you click on drives you're gonna see something like this this is now beautiful I really love this and you can choose your hard drive to open or anything your removable disk and you can see a text shortcut for desktop, Windows Mail. Yeah, that's fine. And desktop, it's just gonna bring it to the desktop, I guess. 
And now for those who didn't actually, uh, who actually got bored of it, just go to the start. I mean, who got bored of it and want to un uninstall it? Just go to the start menu, all programs, no transformation pack, welcome center, and uh, and uh, you just click and remove no transformation pack. So that should uh, do the stuff we wanted to do. So that is just it for this tutorial. Uh, I got, I think it got pretty lengthy, but sorry for that. But thanks for watching this video once again. And this is Sunscar for Tech Boy signing off. Um, I'm proud to be a Tech Boy.